Hey guys, I'm Rosal Vane, and welcome back to another part of Layers of Fear. Where we last left off was that we finished, or we started the series, basically. Um, we are now going into... Excuse me here, I'm changing the volume. Uh, yeah, so we just started the game, and we just got our first point of the painting done, and it's basically a red flamingo. I'm a little bit out of it, I would say, um, but I'm willing to still record the game, even though I might be a little tired slightly. Um, this is our collectible book, basically. So we did miss a few things, probably. Probably. If not, then cool. Yeah, there's a note from our lover, or our wife, technically. But in general sense, yeah, that's where we left off. So let's get going. I might get jump scares, but I might be a lot tired than I should be, and I might be more shook rather than actually, like, screaming, hopefully, but my heart's starting to race against me again. Damn it! Game, why do you keep doing this to me? I'm so tired. Why do you make me so tired? Alright, here we go. Let's go in. Typically, these games are like... Or this elevator, actually, is like... You close the door completely, and... This way? Oh, it's going up. Okay. Sure. But yeah, overall, I'm just tired. I'm just like... I had a morning recording, but that's it. Yeah, okay. To be expected. Wait, past catches? I saw past catches. I didn't see the word completely. Ah... <sighs> Yep, sure. Bit tired still. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of out of it for some dumb reason. I don't like being tired while doing recordings, but I, I guess there are points in time where I just want to do it because I want to keep it going. I still wonder what's going to happen. That's the only thing. <laughs> I think that's the only thing I'm more interested in is like what, what's going to go down, you know? What's in it? Nope. What's in here? Nothing. Gates not close or. Ooh, now I'm regretting why I would even want to start playing this right now. I'm so tired. Uh, why am I so tired? It's like the afternoon. It's not even the morning yet. All right. Well, I mean, it's not. It's not morning anymore. They're all locked. What the fudge? Uh oh, the door is open now. And I see the monkey painting. Why the hell do I see monkey man? I see monkey man in there. Okay, let's go in there. All right, scare me with you with what you got, the mate. The What does it say? Dear sir, William H Green MD, with regards to the mess wishes to you and your wife. Ah, huh. so he's saying something about my wife. Probably going crazy, probably. Happy face again. Oh, gosh. Wife? I know that's wife playing music. I'm feeling a little regrettable with playing this right now, so I'm gonna actually take a break and not play it for now. Instead, I'm gonna play something else for the time being, and then I'll come back another day, another frickin' stinking day, and then we'll continue afterwards because I'm a bit tired and I, I can't, f I don't feel it, I don't feel my energy, but I wanna, st I just wanna leave it where I'm at, like for first initial impressions wise, but I'm just so tired to even like be myself right now. I just want to like kind of relax a little bit, not be in a high stress moment at the moment. But anyways, uh, be right back. This video will cut to me probably in the future, like probably days after this, I guess I would say like pretty much days afterwards after this episode's been recorded. And then we'll see how we're go or how, how the thing is goes from there. But other than that, uh, be right back.
Hey guys, I'm Miles Van, and welcome back to another part, or not, actually, I don't know why I'm re-welcoming re you guys back, I actually had like a four minute opening clip, I think it was, like, it was a few minutes of an opening uh, part of the game, um, or the episode, but I just forgot about it, because it's been, what, so long? Yeah, so I haven't been playing a lot of Layers of Fear, because the fear really did get to me a little bit, and I wasn't ready for it, for some reason. But yeah, I'm sorry, I'm turning down the volume a little bit. Just in case it's too loud, I get kind of creeped out when it's too loud. Or it hurts my ears, technically. But yeah, in general, uh, I took a break. A really long one, because I was very... There we go. Alright, so yeah, I took a very long break. Because I was, like, a bit too uh, out of it. And yeah, I'm replaying it from the start again. Because why not? Um, and I mean, some people might be... Which way did I go, right? I think? Yeah, I wanted to restart it because I technically uh, don't remember everything from where I did it. And I mean, this experience might change depending on how things go, apparently. Um, that's what I feel like. Because I feel like this is kind of like a roguelike horror almost, but it's not. Um, but yeah, overall, I wanted to get back into this right away because I haven't been playing much of Layers of Fear. I've been wanting to come back to it, I guess. But I've been, like, so interested in trying to finish other games that I forgot about Layers of Fear a little bit. I believe this was the door I have to go through, but... They want me to go ahead... <clears throat> go ahead of myself and check other doors before anything. And then we go in here, and then it's gonna force a closed door or something like that. Yeah, we grab like a key, I think. Oh, nope. Uh, damn it, I can't remember how to control this because it's been like two weeks, literally. Been two. It's been literally two weeks since I've not played this. Not because I don't like it. It's just again very scary, and it's like a very okay. This is the part where I was at that I stopped playing because I was like. Oh, that's my wife. Ooh. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. Uh, okay. I guess. I mean, why would you force your wife to play music for you? Oh wow, the elevator's stuck. Oh wait, what? I, oh, I opened it. Can I, can I go back? I like how they just put it down a little bit, <laughs> just so you can't go through it. That's the funniest thing in the world. <clears throat> oh, it's the other way. Oh, come on, the doorway. What is this? Look at this, this is like a door that's hanging upwards. Oh God. I hear it scritchy, scratchity. No, <laughs> I'm too scared now. I'm getting scared again. Oh, I'm not ripe for this in the morning. Oh, uh, this is not good in the morning. Well, I mean, it is kind of darker because I closed the curtain for a little bit. Uh, I'm sorry, but the darkness doesn't actually make me scared. I think it's just the game itself that makes me scared. I don't really rely on darkness to make it scary for me. Oh, I see it's a fire. Oh god, it's burning down there. You know what? Let's walk over to the fire. Why not? Why not? You know, why not? Dude, what is this? Oh, it might be an image for me to collect. Nice. Avoiding the fire. Avoiding the fire now. Is there anything in the back here? I'm sorry, I'm... I don't know. Maybe when it comes down to collectibles, I think about the collectibles more than the scariness of the game, I guess. There's a little girl screaming. It's like an alien little girl screaming. Oh! Look, little girl. I did not kill you. I swear I did not. I, I, I myself didn't. Maybe your father, the character this that I'm playing, is the one who did it. Okay, well that's that. 
lot of wine glass guys been hammered onto some stuff, I guess. <coughs> oh, inspired OCD achievement unlocked. Don't know what that means, but I, I, I guess whatever. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is dying on me as usual. Um. Oh, what do we have here? Mouse traps. Can I crouch? No, I can't crouch. Okay. Bunch of things in there. Oh, hey, notes. Warning signs. The following list is a compilation of most common symptoms of schizophrenia. Suicidal tendency. No. Haven't noticed any insomnia, involuntary facial movements. Do I have schizophrenia? I'm, I'm now thinking myself if I have any. I don't care about the character anymore. I don't know. It's just I haven't found any relations to the characters itself yet. Maybe if I played this in long enough, I'll probably learn to like think about the characters in this game. What the heck? Is that really a corner? Okay, I guess. I didn't know there was like a hole deep enough for that goddamn mouse to get through. What the hell happened here? Wake, make up your mind. Oh, I want the picture. I want that. I want that very really badly. I really, really want that. All right. Well, we have a closet here as well. What is this? Looks like a note. Envelope. Okay. Nothing in here. Nothing. All right. Ah, oh, this is creeping the hell out of me. I really dislike the fact that I had to deal with it. Like, I guess, I mean, I'm a big horror fan, and I'm also a bad horror fan at the same time. Like, I suck at playing horror games as well. Like, if I'm, if anything, horror games is not my MO. <laughs> it's like, I used to be like, I really feel like playing it, but then I realized slowly I really don't like playing it. I like making them in general. Like, I like scaring people rather than scaring myself. It's the funniest. It's the funniest thing in the world, I think, for many people who who like hates horror games, but also love them at the same time. That's kind of like me right now. The bandwagon is like, I love horror games, but yet I kind of hate them because I don't like playing them or experiencing them. Movies, I'm fine with. Movies are just, it's harder to experience. Like it's harder to get along with it, in terms of experience wise. Um, I don't know. Maybe today's horror movies aren't like as strong as they were back then. Like, they don't rely on the creep factor. They rely on, like, jump scares. Typical jump scares. And they rely on, uh... What was that? Oh, come on! You... Whoever... What the... Oh! What? Do it again. Do it again. I love that. That was cool. Oh, it's this picture! <gasps> I know this picture! I, I really... I remember this. This is Saturn eating his son. I think it was called. Or was it... I think it was Saturn. I think so. It might be Jupiter. I can't remember. But it was basically a like god eating a sun. I remember that. That was a... 165. Okay, I might forget that, but we'll see. Like, I remember that because uh, there was a video about the art... Uh, the artwork. Um, it was basically in... It was basically an artwork that you would find in... Uh, a per, uh, like, it was an artist who used to... We used to view the world as like, oh wait, what the heck? One six five. I don't, I don't know how this works. Ten. I can't really, ugh, can't control as well. I don't, I don't know how this works. All right. 10, 6, I don't, I don't get it, I mean I see the notes and the numbers, like a combination number, but, 1, 6, 5, what, I can't move that thing, what, 1, 6, 5, Is it a room number, maybe? I don't know. I don't really get it. But yeah, I remember the the, the video about that art art photo portrait thingy in my bobber. 
I think it was like a French painting or something. Like somebody was like, at the end of like the guy was, like, uh, I think it was deaf. I can't remember, but the, the artist was deaf, and then he isolated himself before he died. Uh, I think ten or twenty years isolation um, from society, and then he died, and he left like eight paintings about some something about the French society I think it was it was like I think it was French I'm not remembering correctly but it, it was something beautiful but also scary at the same time um, I used it I used the artwork as an example in my horror game uh, my horror game presentation in my class I remember using it and I really liked using it because it was kind of something that a lot of people don't really re re recognize about it so all right so it's 165 but I don't get what that means. Is it like 10, 60, and 50? 1, 60, and then all the way back to... Oh, it is! Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was going to be the... Oh, that was the key, okay. Yeah, I don't get it. Like, it wasn't really obvious enough for me, I think, until I realized that it's it's how it works, maybe. I don't know. I mean, like, yeah. At the same time, I uh, I would recommend the, what, the people to watch it if there was a if you had the time. I don't remember what the video is called, but the video was uh. Hi. This door's gonna close on me, isn't it? I don't even know. I don't even know if this door is gonna. I know this door is open now, but I'm scared of this door as well. Let's do it. Ah. What the hell is what the heck is there? I'm sorry, I'm just making noises because I gotta brave through this whole madness of things. I really don't like oh there's rope here, that's bad. That's bad that you have rope here. Meaning that somebody hung himself. I don't know where this is, but somebody forgot to scribble the wrong side of the room. Or a different side of the room, I guess. It's a letter. I noticed that was weird, by all means, but... Is that a dead body? No, that's not. It's just Cushion getting bloodied. It cannot be undone. Cannot. Undone. Alright, so it's kind of a reflection, sort of. There's a match. You want me to do something about the match, maybe? Letter. More matches. Alright. What do you want from me, man? What do you want from me, woman? I don't know what you want. Oh, it's a dog! Hey, doggy! Doggy, come here! I love the doggies. What? Oh, come on! Why did you do that to the dogs? The dogs didn't deserve to die. I hope he. I hope this guy didn't burn dogs, really. I really hope he didn't like burn those dogs to death. That would suck a lot. Good boy. Honey, remember oh. how you said it would be nice to have a cat so the baby could have someone to play with? Well, I just bought us a dog. He said cat, <laughs> not a dog. Oh. He said cat, not dog, you idiot. He bought a freaking goddamn dog instead of a cat? You know dogs can bite babies, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I mean there. There is. It's good to have a dog to to have a dog with a kid because, um, kids tend to get less allergic to pets with an actual pet around. I mean that's what I've heard so far. Come on. Oh, there we go. I think it lagged a little bit there. Sorry, I was looking at the time. Um. Okay, I guess. I don't think I. My mind is not ready to read. My mind is just ready to just keep move, keep moving, keep on moving. Uh, buddy has his eyes closed somehow. Two doors. Yep. Another guy. Hey, buddy, your hair is so. Oh. <gasps> I didn't realize, but there's a face that's reflected onto the, 
Oh my, that's interesting. Is this one also doing the same? Oh, it is. So their faces get mixed up with the two, I guess. Okay, this one's probably open. I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm gonna ignore that for now. I'm also limping as well. I just realized that. I'm kind of limping, limping. Is this one locked? Yep, it is locked. Is this one locked? Probably not. Nope, it is. Okay, cool. I'm limping. Why the hell am I limping, dude? Dude, I'm gonna name this guy uh, Daniel because it reminds me of uh, Amnesia, The Dark Descent, so I'm gonna name the guy after the same guy. Hi, Art. Oh, <laughs> This is a little awkward. Oh no, I wanted to see the guy's face. I wanted to see. Oh, that sucks. Stupid rat. Whoever owns this house, which is probably us, is dumb. Oh, the wheelchair went down. It sunk. Is this locked, I guess? No, it's not this time. Okay, I better not open that one. Is this back to the art room? No, it's not. Let me go and see what the hell this leads to. I think it's locked this time. So they reduced the painting to a smaller size, I think, because they were like, oh, wait, what? Oh, I see, it just brings me back, okay. This is telling me to go back, technically. It's like, go back! Go back, the you evil, you evil doer. Oh, so it's gonna lead me to the, oh, come on. Is this the same freaking play? Okay, so it's not anywhere different. Oh, maybe it's determining the uh, the fact of where I'm going. Like, whichever door I choose will determine the factor of like how I'm gonna get the the jump scares and such. Like, it's trying to give me, it's trying to dis determine like what kind of person I am. Am I fearful of like the floor with the wheelchair sinking in, or am I fearful of the, or or am I just going to the comfort zone? Because if I'm going to the comfort zone, they're gonna give me jump scares. I think. Maybe that's the clue or indication. It seems like it. Because that's kind of... What the hell's that noise? Something just exploded or something? Jesus. So random. Game, you're such a random game. Another jump. Okay, it's just a... F Why is that face not combined with a thing, anyways? Is that a book? Aw. I like how the noises just showed up out of nowhere and i don't know what happens really i really don't know what happened i just heard it was like typical jump scare that i always hear like the stuff I, I mean it reminds me of oh hey uh it reminds me of uh creepy possum man i think it was was it creepy possum man i can't remember light i need light i need light come on dude i need light i can't see i need to I need to see the letters, dude. Or see what's in here. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna open the door for you, ma'am. Wherever you are. It might be me. Like, it might be a reflection of what I do to my wife, maybe. Oh, there's my wife. Oh, there's the painting. Oh, I wanted to see the thing. Whose room would this be? Is this Granny's room, maybe? Could be. I'm, I know I'm ignoring the, the knocks, but whatever. Are you pleased now? Are you pleased the fact that I tried to open that door now? God dang it. Alright, there we go. She was unhappy. Whatever thing was there was unhappy the fact that I didn't open the door for the thing. Come on, open it. I don't know what exactly what it was. Oh, you know what? Ah, uh, no, it locks the door. Oh, I wanted to follow the painting trail. I forgot to, I should pay attention to these things because sometimes those things are different from what it was. Like something might change from that sense of like searching, I guess. I wonder if there's an achievement for like opening all the cabinet shelves and such. Hey, we're back in the, the room, back to the, was it the, the couple's room? We were here last time because we were like, we were here last time just to uh, see what the hell we had in ourselves, and the whole thing came off, I guess, like, last time. Got that. Oh, when they played it last time, I had it- it was silenced, because we don't- I don't have any, like... Oh, the prosthetic leg! We have prosthetic legs, don't we? Prothe- The artist's impression, okay. 
So it was our impression of our prosthetic leg. So that's why we're limping. I didn't realize that we were limping because I was really, no, I didn't realize we were limping until today in this part. Like it was the most randomest thing. What the heck? Why is there a little hole right there? All the acid flipping palm, or not flipping palm, uh, acid, like the acid wasn't fixing the thing, I guess. Come on, just play the music, baby. The music can't be heard, so I can't. Oh, I see, it's melting. The door is melting. I see. Oh, this place is holy melt. Oh my god, everything's melting. Oh boy. I get it. The music is dangerous. Uh, I like how the music is can't be heard because it's copywritten, sort of. I hey, needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Ugh. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. Ugh. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Jesus. Why didn't I think of a syringe? <laughs> oh, maybe the intake of it in like terms of like my mouth could just be stronger. Mm. I'm just kidding. No, I don't know. Everything became colorless. Wow. That was fast. Uh, you want me to exit the door, I guess? I mean, the door got screwed up, right? Oh, no, no. It's still it, it's still reachable. Oh, come on. I wanted the door. I want the... Oh, oh, I see. Want me to go through here? I'm so confused. Play it again. Screw everything up for me. Oh, I see. I see. So maybe this thing? Maybe higher? I don't know. I don't really know. Maybe this thing will help us get out of here. I'm, I'm not like having a great time with the spinning thing, Emma Bobber. <laughs> Nothing's changing. Alright, let me go lower then, shall we? Uh, uh, come on! Spin! I hear like a slight little volume of the music, but I can't really do much. All right, well, what do you want me to do, game? God, game. I get it, it's a horror game, but I don't, I don't know what to do. Is the door not openable anymore? <clears throat> uh, yeah, the door's not openable anymore. Do I have to drink the copper stuff? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it, I'm confused. I'm so confused, world, game, world, what are you doing? Oh, there's something in the back. Um. Oh, it fixes everything. Oh, interesting. I just heard the music and it sounded like a chipmunk music apparently. <laughs> uh, that's funny. It's like making the chipmunk music. Oh, everything gets fixed again. Oh, that's cool. That's a really cool mechanic to just rewind everything back to normal. I really like that. That's a really cool uh, concept. I, I would love to kind of use that concept onto a game I make if I ever have a chance to. It was re It's really cool. All right. Um, shall we, I guess? Now what is it gonna become? It looks like a swamp. Get out of my swamp, donkey! I don't know. Oh, the bottle is important. Oh, okay, so it's basically the same line he talks about. Um, in terms of like, so it, it's the same lines that Daniel said. I'm saying I'm gonna call this guy Daniel anyways, the, the because I think that the protagonist has no name apparently. I think, but whatever I guess. Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work. That's all. Some liquid courage for your greed, for your grand art opening. Okay. 
Um, okay, my thing fell down. <laughs> my thing just decayed. Um, sure. Um, what are we collected, actually? I can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night. And now, there you are, locked in your workspace as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. <sighs> okay, I guess. Some stuff are missing, is apparently. Oh. Form emerges. Got it. Okay, what did we collect it anyways? Okay, we collected a portrait of me and my wife walking on the park. A portrait of my wife playing piano. Our marriage with the wife. Missing page, uh, uh, art stuff. A letter from the wife, I guess. Another letter, another letter missing. Oh, uh, the wife talking to us with a paper form, it seems like. So far, we still got a lot to collect. That's crazy. I thought we were done with collecting. Apparently, we're not. We're filled with a lot of collecting to do still. Alright, anyways, this is a great spot to end it because apparently all save points, I think in my mind, all save points are the portrait itself. So each time I make a new portrait, that's another save point. I don't think there's a real defined save point in this game for Layers of Fear because I don't really know exactly what it is that this game really wants out of me. I don't really know. I really don't know where the save point is. There's no indicator to say, hey, we're saving your game or hey, this is where you save because the art painting thing it seems like the only thing that marks itself as a saving point and that's the only time I ever realized that we're saved here for the time being and at the same time it's not like near I was wanting to hit 30 minutes long for each episode but I guess we went through it pretty fast I guess not bad anyways that's it for me in this part uh there's about what four more rooms or four more ways pathways to go before we find out the truth which is the bottom thing here um, and then after that, we'd, we would just hop into the inherent, inheritance DLC, which will probably be part of this like playlist of the game, because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother switching it out uh, or bother trying to separate it out because it's part of the game, and it's important to have it as a game because it's like important to teach or not. It's important that it's part of the game because the inheritance DLC doesn't look like it's like its own spinoff of of some sort, um, or maybe it is, but I don't know. Anyways, other than that, that's it for me for in this part, so Ross.